What's up guys? So lately, I've been getting really into speedrunning. <laughs> What's up guys? Recently, I've been getting really into speedrunning. And naturally, I was thinking, well, how can I, a producer, a music producer, do some kind of speedrun? And then it hit me. You guys know I'm the king of constantly having 90% CPU usage. So I'm gonna see if I can get the world record for the fastest time to crash FL Studio. All right, so first things first, if we wanna go for this world record, we gotta know everything there is to know about crashing FL Studio. We gotta learn the science behind it. Why does it happen? What type of things can make FL Studio crash? Stuff like that. It says here one of the most common causes of crashing with FL Studio is overloading the CPU. And personally, I don't think we're gonna have any problem with that. Dude, why, why is my CPU at 80% on FL Studio version 3? Okay, so this right here is an article about how to stop FL Studio from crashing. So we're going to read through this and then do the opposite of what it says. As soon as you open up FL Studio, it is best not to click on anything until you know everything has completely loaded up. Well, I definitely know one thing we're going to try. So most of the things I'm seeing revolve around FL Studio crashing because of really high CPU usage. So I think that's what we're going to go for mainly with this. But there are a couple different methods that I want to try. So given that nobody else has done this before, as far as I know, I pretty much have to figure out my own technique for this. So there's a couple different things that I want to try. I'm just going to try to open up a bunch of plugins, kind of max out the CPU, have like 20 serums or something like that. And then personally, what's caused the most crashes for me in FL Studio, sometimes when I go into the mixer, hit that little red button, and then try to render out a clip as audio, my FL Studio will just crash. And that's honestly where I've had the most FL Studio crashes, but I think we're probably gonna have the most luck with just overloading the CPU. So for the first attempt here, we're not really going for speed. I'm just gonna see if I can consistently be able to crash FL Studio. So I'm just gonna load up a bunch of plugins and then see if that crashes it. I'm gonna take this and clone it. Okay, we gotta do it a couple more times, I think. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my God, that's horrible. Let's try to render out these as an audio clip. See if this works. Dang it. Oh my God, it's so loud. It's literally so loud. This is painful to listen to. We're literally at like 95% CPU usage. All right, so we're maxing out the CPU here. Oh. We got some sort of Windows noises going on. We're maxing out the CPU here. It's not really doing anything. So one thing I'm gonna try is going into the settings and then just turning like the quality settings all the way up. Audio settings. Uh, <laughs> look at my screen, dude. Oh my God. All right, so we got a <laughs> quite a something going on here, but it's still not crashing, unfortunately. My CPU is really holding up. You can count on FL Studio to crash on you every single time that you don't want it to, but when you actually want FL Studio to crash, it won't. Okay, let's turn off this stuff. Oh my God, what even is that noise? We are literally at 100% CPU usage and it's still not crashing. Another method that I was kind of thinking about is loading up a project that I already have made and then just clicking stuff in the project before it's actually loaded all the way because I know that's one way that FL Studio can crash. So we're gonna try that. Come on, crash. Oh, we got one. We got a crash, baby. All right, so I like this method here. It seems like a pretty reliable one. It seemed to crash when it was loading up the Waves plugins. So what I wanna try to do is make a project with just Waves plugins, so that's all it has to load, and then try to crash it while it's loading those plugins. Hopefully that should work. I don't know if it will, but we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna save this as a project here. Okay, file, your mom. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> Let's go, we did it. That was a good run right there. Okay, now we just have to time this. So we found the method, now we gotta get our first run in here. What I'm gonna do is start the timer right when I click on FL Studio, and the timer stops once it crashes. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. Go. Come on, click on File, your mom, spam click. Oh, 21 seconds. Boom. Okay, so I'm pretty proud of that one. We did that one in like 21, 22 seconds, basically. So the main problem that we're running into here is that it's very slow loading up FL Studio in the first place. What I'm thinking I'm gonna try to do is make the project the default FL Studio project. So that's what opens up right when I click it. And then we can hopefully try to crash it a lot faster. Make this. 
our default template and now it should when we click this open up that project that we had. Oh yeah, I can see this having some potential already. I'm gonna try to do a pretty legit run here. I think this is gonna be way quicker than the other one. How did it load up? What? All right, I'm feeling like part of my problem here is I'm clicking before the Waves logo shows up. I think that's kind of the target range for when I have to start clicking. So we're gonna try that and see if that works a little better. Okay, come on. Wait for the Waves logo to show up. Now, vigorously spam click. Oh, 15 seconds. Got him. My computer's gonna explode from doing this. So the main problem here seems to be the fact that FL Studio takes a really long time to actually like open the program. So hear me out. What I'm thinking is we try to overload the CPU before we even click on FL Studio. So at this point, I started trying a bunch of different things to try to make the time faster, but none of them worked. So I think we kind of already hit the peak of the speed run here because everything else I was doing was just failing miserably. Nothing's happening. <laughs> okay, cool. It didn't even open. What? My FL Studio is invisible. What is happening? Oh my god, so annoying. Dang it. I don't know how I got that 15 second run. That was quickness, dude. Okay, honestly, I don't really know how we're gonna get much faster than 15 seconds. If you guys can beat 15 seconds for this, let me know, cause I'd be pretty impressed. But right now I'm pretty exhausted. I feel like I've tried everything possible and 15 seconds is about as good as we're gonna get it. So I guess that's gonna have to be the world record for now. But you know, we still are the world record holder. So yeah, that is pretty much going to do it for me here today. I hope you guys enjoyed this goofy little video. Obviously, got to give a huge shout out to Simon Servita for doing the, you know, crank that Soldier Boy thing. I figured I'd take that speedrun idea and do a little parody, do my own little twist on it. But if you guys can beat this time, definitely let me know because I'd love to see it. But yeah, make sure you guys check out my Instagram and my SoundCloud down in the description below along the playlist of songs I produce, my beats on my Discord, all that stuff. Go check it out if you'd like to do so. And I will see you guys next time. Energy, critical.